everybody, back out Balloon here. Welcome to this unboxing and review of the latest Proof Britannia coins from the Royal Mint. We have here the quarter ounce gold proof and the one ounce silver proof for us to have a look at, nice and close to the 4K camera today. Uh, now these have arrived freshly in from the Royal Mint, Although I say from the Royal Mint, they've actually come via Silver Stan on the Silver Forum. And I'll put a link to Silver Stan's website because he has an arrangement. I'm not entirely sure what the arrangement is. I don't know whether he's buying wholesale from the Royal Mint, but whatever the arrangement is, he's able to supply these coins, these proof coins from the Royal Mint, not just the Britannias, but uh, Queen's Beast proof coins as well at very, very competitive prices. In fact, I'd argue that they are the best prices that you're going to find for these coins. Certainly a lot cheaper than buying directly from the Royal Mint, even with cashback. So well worth a look. Links down in the description below. But we're going to have a look at these coins now. So uh, before we go ahead um, and look, I just want to show you the difference between the 2017 box and the 2018 box, because this is an important compare and contrast. Now, the 2017 coin, we are going to have a look at this for a very brief moment because you guys probably know my feelings on this coin already. It's very ugly. But I mean, first of all, the boxes are very different. I actually really, really love this new 2018 box. It's a very, very inspiring design. It looks great, great artwork, great look and feel to it. So well done, Royal Mint, for changing that up because the last box was pretty, pretty poor, to be honest. So let's crack these open and have a look. So I have decided to pick these up because, well, because the coins themselves are very attractive, and you'll see that in a moment when I've opened these boxes. And um, I'm a big fan of Britannia's. I'm a big fan of um, the series. I think it's great. I'm trying to backdate and do a whole bunch of different um, year dates for the one ounce golds as well as the silvers. Silvers is maybe less of a priority for me, uh, but I like the Britannias. They're very cool. They're capital gains tax exempt. They exemplify British kind of coins, silver coins, and it's the first ever kind of coins that I bought. So I like Britannias and I like this year's proof Britannia especially. So we'll have a look at the, the coin all nice and close to the camera. But before we do, let's just talk very briefly about the presentation boxes. So very good, high quality presentation boxes. Uh, we've got the nice gloss finish wooden box here that you can have as a kind of display stand, which looks um, very good. I'm sure if you had a whole sort of date run of these uh, Proof Britannia coins, they would look fantastic all out there on a mantelpiece or something. So another good box. And we've seen that before for the Queen's Beast series. And then we've got the uh, the one ounce silver box, which is again, a really nice presentation box. Very good indeed. This coin sits very well inside it. And uh, I have to say this time from Silver Stan anyway, I, mean, it, I hope this would have been the same for him when he received them from the Royal Mint. They were very, very well packaged from Silver Stan. No issues with quality. And in fact, I'd ask Silver Stan ahead of time, what if there are quality issues? Because um, we've experienced quality issues with the previous um, deliveries from the Royal Mint and I've had to return coins for replacements and refunds. And it's all a bit of a, uh, a sort of a, a nightmare sometimes, but Silver Stan was great. He guaranteed the uh, quality of these coins and uh, and look, they're fantastic. So uh, yeah, well done Silver Stan. Now with all of these coins come a little brieflet. So uh, a brieflet, uh, I suppose it's called a brieflet, a little briefing booklet, I should say. And here it is. I'm not going to pause it and have a read of it all now, but you can. There's all of the information you need to know about some of the Britannias and the face of Britain. It's interesting that uh, last year the theme was the changing face of Britain and this year they've kind of gone back to that old school look and feel about it, which is very interesting. And there's all of the other information you need to know about these coins. So enjoy that at your leisure. The, uh, the one from the other um, coin, the silver coin, is exactly the same. In fact, it's the same size as well, which is interesting. The uh, Falcon of the Plantagenets books are bigger in the silver proof ones. Then we have the COAs, so here's the silver proof COA, which is number 4,857. Uh, 4, here's all of the particulars of the coin, including the notes on the mintage. So uh, in this particular presentation, there's a mintage of 5,100, which gives nearly 2,050, well, 2,050 more coins that are in other displays. And I guess that's for uh, big sets with all of the different sizes in. Quarter ounce gold COA is number 205 and the mintage is uh, 1080 in this size. And then of course there are the kind of conglomerate sets. So 205, not a bad serial number. I like that nice, relatively low anyway. So the moment you've all been waiting for the coins, let's start with the gold coin. Here it is. Now I was attracted to this design because it is 
first of all, very, very attractive looking. And I hope you guys can appreciate that from here, from this camera. It really is very special. It's certainly a damn sight better than the 2017 version. Now, I don't have a gold version of the 2017 Proof Britannia uh, to put this side by side, but I do have the uh, silver proof to put side by side. Here's the 2017 version. And uh, I really am only going to keep this on camera for a very short time because ugh, it's horrible. And you can see the difference there. This is meant to be a kind of a modernistic uh, look and feel coin, you know, modern design reflecting the changing face of Britain as a country and as a nation. And uh, it just looks pretty poor. We've talked about the design on that. So let's take that away. That's not very nice to look at. Whereas this one, I think, just really harks back to that kind of what Britannia is all about. It's all about that pomp and pageantry and regentry uh, of regency of sort of the United Kingdom of Britannia herself uh, all the way back and it's got that kind of you know it's got the laurel wreaths around her head as well the Romanesque helmet and look and feel about it that just old school look all the way back through history that um, has been synonymous with kind of Britain and the empire and the power of Britannia and that's what these Britannia coins should be all about and it's very elegant looking as well at the same time one thing I really like about this coin, let's get back to the gold, because this one, I think the gold really exemplifies the design details. You can see it very, very well and crisp and clear in the gold. I like the kind of um, the sunburst rays in the background behind Britannia's head there, so you can see them coming out. They look very, very good indeed. And I'm very happy with the way this coin looks and feels generally. It's, it's just well framed in that circle. You've got Britannia written around the side, quarter ounce fine gold, four nines, 2018. We've got good old Queenie on the back here as ever. Get that into focus. And you can see 25 pounds is the denomination of this coin. That's important because it's a capital gains tax exempt coin, which means any profits that you uh, garner from this coin in the future will be capital gains exempt. Very important when you're looking to invest in potentially large volumes of gold or silver. Definitely something to factor in. So there we go. Let's have them side by side so we can see which one you prefer. Of course, like the, the bigger coins always are good because you can see more of the detail. But I do find that sometimes on the smaller coins, the detail is almost, because it's so much smaller, it has to be so much finer and more precise. And I do find that sometimes the smaller coins, like the quarter ounce golds, often have this kind of crisper look and feel to it. So it'd be interesting to know what you guys think about it, whether or not the quarter ounce gold is better looking than the silver. Of course, the gold color is very attractive and we all love gold that's the point of gold it's very shiny and alluring now as to whether or not these will be good investment coins that's i guess the last thing to talk about in this video so these are uh, proof coins so they are not cheap coins they come from the royal mint and uh, well or from silver stan in this case and they uh, they cost a fair amount of money certainly well above odds for the price of the metal that can, is contained within the coins. I've talked about proof coins a number of times before on my channel and uh, how the vast majority of them are going to be, uh, you know, flops. They're not necessarily going to garner uh, great returns and yields. And I can probably say that this is one of those which will struggle to get a very large uh, return on your investment. And if you are looking to purchase these coins, I would highly recommend that you perhaps do similar to what I've done and basically write it off as a coin collection, as a collector's item that you will be enjoying and that you'll be happy to have. It means something to you that you can you know, enjoy rather than rely on it giving you a tangible return on your investment. Not everybody can do that, I appreciate. And uh, you know, if that's something that you wanna do, perhaps getting the regular bullion versions of coins instead of the proof versions is the way forward as opposed to uh, the large premiums that come on these coins. It's an interesting question. Um, you know, I always get asked, is it worth picking them up? Personally, I like them, I enjoy them. That's why I pick up these coins from the Royal Mint every now and again. Apart from the 2017 version, I picked this one up specifically to share with you guys on YouTube as to how horrible it really was. Um, I don't like it, I think it's awful. <laughs> I think it's absolutely dire. So it's a good sign that the Royal Mint have gone in the right direction, they've made an attractive looking coin. That's one thing that this coin definitely, the 2018 anyway, does have going for it. It is an attractive looking coin, it does look good. So that is something that might garner um, a little bit more favor for it in the future. But you know, putting them side by side and comparing them, these two coins in terms of investment potential, this one is a flop, this one is yeah, it's gonna be 
a little bit up in the air as to whether it's going to be a major success, but it's certainly got a good chance of holding its value over time, perhaps even increasing value slightly as well. So there we go. That is my unboxing and review and thoughts and opinions on the Britannia from 2018. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. That would be very helpful for everything I do here on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want to go and check out Silver Stan, uh, please do go have a look. His link is down in the description below to his website and uh, everything you need to know. He's um, able to source not just these coins, but Queen's Beast proof coins as well at very competitive prices. So definitely worth looking at. If you would like to see future videos like this, then please make sure you hit my subscribe button. And if you want to see a notification on your device when, you, when I upload a video, hit that alarm bell. Otherwise, that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.